Entrance hymn number 3535, five, All You Nations. this mass we shall be praying for all your personal intentions the church celebrates today the memorial of the virgin and doctor of the church saint catherine of siena in the name of the father and of the son and of the holy spirit Amen. the grace of our lord jesus christ the love of god and the communion of the holy spirit be with you all and with your spirit as we prepare ourselves to celebrate these sacred mysteries let us call to mind our sins. I confess to Almighty God and to you, my brothers and sisters, that I have greatly sinned in my thoughts and in my words, in what I have done and in what I have failed to do. Through my fault, through my fault, through my most grievous fault. Therefore I ask, Blessed Mary, ever Virgin, all the angels and saints, and you, my brothers and sisters, to pray for me to the Lord our God. May Almighty God have mercy on us, forgive us our sins, and bring us to everlasting life. Amen. Kyrie, Kyrie, Eleison. Kyrie, Kyrie, Eleison. Christe, Christe, Eleison. Christe, Christe, Eleison. Kyrie, Kyrie, Eleison. Kyrie, Kyrie, Eleison. Let us pray. For God who set St. Catherine of Siena on fire with divine love, in her contemplation of the Lord's passion, and her service of your church grant through her intercession that your people participating in the mystery of Christ may ever exult in the revelation of his glory who lives and reigns with you in the unity of the Holy Spirit one God forever and ever Amen A reading from the Acts of the Apostles. That day, a bitter persecution started against the church in Jerusalem, and everyone except the apostle fled to the country districts of Judea and Samaria. There were some devout people, however, who buried Stephen and made great mourning for him. Saul then worked for the total destruction of the church. He went from house to house, arresting both men and women and sending them to prison. Those who had escaped went from place to place, preaching the good news. One of them was Philip, who went to a Samarian town and proclaimed the Christ to them. The people united in welcoming the message Philip preached, neither because they had heard of the miracles he worked or because they saw them for themselves. There were, for example, unclean spirit that came shrieking out of many who were possessed, and several paralytics and cripples were cured. There was great rejoicing in the town as a result.
the word of the lord our response is cry out with joy to god all the earth cry out with joy to god all the earth all together cry out with joy to god all the earth cry out with joy to god all the earth o sing to the glory of his name o render his glorious praise say to god how tremendous your deeds our response cry out with joy to god on the earth before you all the earth shall bow shall sing to you sing to your name come and see the works of god tremendous it deeds among men our response cry out with joy to god He turned the sea into dry land. They passed through the river dry shore. Let our joy then be in him. He rules for every of his might. Our response. Cry out with joy to God on the earth. It is my father's will says the lord that whoever believes in the son shall have eternal life and that i shall raise him up on the last day Lord be with you and, and with your, your spirit. spirit. A reading from the Holy Gospel according to John. Glory, Glory to, to you, o Lord. Lord. Jesus said to the crowd, "I am the bread of life. He who comes to me will never be hungry. He who believes in me will never thirst. But as I have told you, you can see me and still do not believe. All that the Father gives me will come to me, and whoever comes to me I shall not turn him away because I have come from heaven not to do my own will but to do the will of the one who sent me. Now the will of him who sent me is that I should lose nothing of all that he has given to me and that I should raise it up on the last day. Yes, it is my father's will that whoever sees the son and believes in him shall have eternal life and that I shall raise him up on the last day. the gospel of the lord praise to you lord, lord jesus christ jesus wasn't speaking literally when he said i am the bread of life our gospel is a continuation from where we left off yesterday my dear brothers and sisters we all have our own hungers maybe we are hungering for love we are hungering for a happy family we are hungering for financial stability or maybe we even have a hunger for good health i used a word yesterday that i'd like to repeat again today all these are legitimate hungers but none of these will give us a permanent satisfaction they're good in themselves and we have to pursue them but if we want a satisfaction that will last forever something that will truly satisfy the hunger and longing that we are looking out for it is namely making Jesus the center of our lives so long as we keep god a distance away from us so long as we feel that we don't really need god in our lives that hunger that we have will never be satisfied i pray that each one of us hungering for god may truly recognize him in our presence in our midst and make the lord the center of our lives
hymn number 4848 at this time of giving at this time of giving gladly now we bring gifts that have been given by our God and King here is our My dear brothers and sisters, that my sacrifice and yours may be acceptable to God, the Almighty Father. May the Lord accept the sacrifice at your hands for the praise and glory of his name, for our good and the good of all his holy church. I accept, O Lord, the saving sacrifice we offer in commemoration of Saint Catherine, so that instructed by her teaching, we may give ever more fervent thanks to you, the one true God, through Christ our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you and with your spirit. Lift up your hearts. We lift them up to the Lord. Let us give thanks to the Lord our God. It is right and just. It is truly right and just our duty in our salvation at all times to acclaim you, Lord. But in this time, above all, to lord you yet more gloriously when Christ our Passover has been sacrificed. He never ceases to offer himself for us, but defends us and ever pleads our cause before you. He is the sacrificial victim who dies no more, the Lamb once slain who lives forever. Therefore overcome with Paschal joy, every land, every people exults in your praise, and even the heavenly powers with the angelic hosts sing together the unending hymn of your glory as they acclaim. You are indeed holy, O Lord, the font of all holiness. Make holy, therefore, these gifts, we pray, by sending down your Spirit upon them like the dewfall, so that they may become for us the body and blood of our Lord Jesus Christ. At the time he was betrayed and entered willingly into his passion, he took bread and giving thanks, broke it and gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and eat of it, for this is my body, which will be given up for you. In a similar way, when supper was ended, he took the chalice and once more giving thanks he gave it to his disciples, saying, Take this, all of you, and drink from it. 
For this is the chalice of my blood, the blood of the new and eternal covenant, which will be poured out for you and for many for the forgiveness of sins. Do this in memory of me. The mystery of faith. We proclaim your death, O Lord, and profess your resurrection until you come, until you come, until you come again. Therefore, as we celebrate the memorial of his death and resurrection, we offer you, Lord, the bread of life and the chalice of salvation, giving thanks that you've held us worthy to be in your presence and minister to you. Humbly we pray that partaking of the body and blood of Christ, we may be gathered into one by the Holy Spirit. Remember, Lord, your church spread throughout the world and bring her to the fullness of charity, together with Francis, our Pope, and Oswald, our Bishop, and all the clergy. Remember also our brothers and sisters who have fallen asleep in the hope of the resurrection and all who have died in your mercy. Welcome them into the light of your face. Have mercy on us all, we pray, that with the blessed Virgin Mary, Mother of God, with blessed Joseph, her spouse, with the blessed apostles, with Saint Catherine of Siena, and all the saints who have pleased you throughout the ages, we may merit to be co heirs to eternal life and may praise and glorify you through your Son, Jesus Christ. Through him and with him and in him, O God, Almighty Father, in the unity of the Holy Spirit, all glory and honor is yours forever and ever. the Saviour's command, informed by divine teaching, we dare to say, Our Father, who art in heaven, hallowed be thy name. Thy kingdom come, thy will be done, on earth as it is in heaven. Give us this day our daily bread, and forgive us our trespasses, as we forgive those who trespass against us. And lead us not to the temptation, but deliver us from evil. Deliver us, Lord, we pray, from every evil. Graciously grant peace in our days. By the help of your mercy, we may be always free from sin and safe from all distress, as we await the blessed hope and the coming of our Saviour, Jesus Christ. For the kingdom, the power, and the glory are yours, now and forever. Lord Jesus Christ, who said to your apostles, Peace I leave you, my peace I give you. Look not on our sins, but on the faith of your church and graciously grant her peace and unity in accordance with your will who live and reign forever and ever. Amen. The peace of the Lord be with you always. And with your spirit. Let us offer each other the sign of peace. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, you take away the sins of the world, have mercy on us. Lamb of God, take away the sins of the world, grant us peace. Behold the Lamb of God, behold him who takes away the sins of the world. Blessed are those called at the supper of the Lamb. Lord, I am not worthy that you should enter under my roof. I only say the word, and my soul shall be healed.
an act of spiritual communion. My Jesus, my Jesus, I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I believe that you are present in the most holy sacrament. I love you above all things. I love you above all things. And I desire to receive you into my soul. And I desire to receive you into my soul. Since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, since I cannot at this moment receive you sacramentally, come at least spiritually into my heart. Come at least spiritually into my heart. I embrace you as if you were already there. I embrace you as if you were already there. And unite myself wholly to you. And unite myself wholly to you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Never permit me to be separated from you. Amen. Amen. Hymn number 372, 372. We shall sing the fifth verse. Take this and eat it for this is my body. Take this and drink it for this is my blood. Come be filled as you sit at my table. Let us pray. May the heavenly table at which we have been fed, O Lord, confer eternal life upon us, as even in this world it nourished the life of St. Catherine, through Christ our Lord. Amen. Pray for a quick end to the coronavirus. Almighty and merciful God, who show your love to all creation everywhere, hear graciously the prayer we make for all those affected by the coronavirus in various parts of the world. We come before you asking for a quick control of the outbreak, for a healing of those affected, for the victims and their families. We pray for the doctors doing research that an effective vaccine to combat the sickness is speedily found. We pray for the government and health authorities that they take appropriate steps for the good of the people. We make this prayer in the name of Jesus, our Lord. Amen. The Lord be with you. And with your spirit. And may the peace and blessing of Almighty God, the Father, the Son, and the Holy Spirit descend upon you and remain with you forever and ever. Amen. Go and announce the gospel of the Lord. Thanks, Thanks be to God. God. Hymn number 478, 478, You Who Are Burdened. Longing for rest, but all in vain. Be not afraid of sacrifice. Be not afraid in front of death. Lift up your eyes to Jesus Christ. Cry out to Him and never despair. All you that sleep on the way and fall. Hearts will be deep but full. Jesus Christ. 